All right, all right. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope we are all well and fantastico and all those words. Anyway, um, I have, for the very first time, Gary, I'm going to say Delaney. Gary Delaney. I hope that's right. Gary Delaney? Gary Delaney. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Delaney. Anyway, um, Sarah Milliken's husband, if I am not mistaken. Um, and yes, I've, I've seen Sarah's, some of Sarah's clips and everybody's like, oh, if you like her, you got to watch this. This guy, he does one-liners and he's similar to Jimmy Carr, like offensive or whatever. And um, somebody sent me this particular link. And when I clicked on it and I saw that it was a compilation, I was like, first of all, <laughs> I was hesitant because I was like, yeah, but every time there's a compilation of something, like it kind of ruins it because usually you need context or where it was coming from or like it's better to watch a whole show or st and then I I <laughs> I realized people were comparing him to Jimmy Carr and stuff I was like oh dude they're one-liners like sure maybe a few of them will have needed context for something before or whatever but one-liners it doesn't really matter like it's one-liners you don't really need context you don't need to watch the whole like set in a row you can just chop them up and and divide them and separate and you know like they're one-liners so i figured it will work we're gonna find out though because i'm usually wrong but you know like let's give it a try anyway um i i I love watching, you know, comedians for the first time, new to me. This man is new to me, so let's watch. <laughs> um, all I know is the man is a one-liner comedian, offensive, Sarah Millican's husband, and apparently, uh, like, his comedic persona is very different than when Sarah, you know, describes him and, and stories and anecdotes, you realize he's actually had, like, a, has a sweet side or a nice side and you don't get to see it. So, that's all I know. But it's it's more context than I've had for other videos, so it should work out. All right. Let's go. Sometimes uh, people get in touch with me to complain about my jokes if they think something offensive. They get in touch on Twitter or on Facebook or email me through my website or something. Uh, and uh, I, when they do that, I make a little note of it because I know that means that's a good joke and I should probably do it more. There you go. So what I've done, this is a collection of my most complained about <coughs> jokes ever. So that's... Am I a dumbass this isn't, and this isn't... It's not a compilation. It's a compilation he made. Oh, this works. <laughs> I, um, I have too many Carl moments, man. Um, and yes, I prefer to call dumb moments Carl moments more than blonde moments. <laughs> okay, everything I said in the first couple minutes, scratch that. This is a continuous thing. We're good. Never mind. My bad. That's what we're going to fucking do. And so look... <laughs> If you're watching that on the little video, if you complain about these after that warning, that means you're a fucking retard, okay? <laughs> Here we go. I fisted ventriloquist once to see how he liked it. <laughs> My cousin was a heroin addict by the age of 13. It's amazing, isn't it? Kids shoot up so fast these days. <laughs> Personally, I prefer morning sex, as it's when people are recently bereaved or at the most vulnerable. <laughs> Wait, what? As it's when people are recently bereaved or at the most vulnerable. <laughs> Personally, I... I prefer morning sex, as it's when people are recently bereaved or at the most vulnerable. <laughs> I don't understand what he's saying. See? That's good. The ooze have started and we're only on joke three. <clears throat> <laughs> the other day, my girlfriend and I had great makeup sex. Well, I say that, she was out and I stuck her lipstick up my ass. <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> because I'm worth it. There you go. <laughs> a gay friend of mine recently had his arm in a cast. It was the cast of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor <laughs> I didn't get it, he laughed. His amazing Technicolor <laughs> I don't get it! And he had his arm in a cast. It was the cast of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor <laughs> I guess the show, the cast. See? We're plunging downhill already. All right. 
Islamic State have released their own range of anti-dandruff shampoo. It's called Shoulders. Okay. I understood it, at least. (laughs) The Make-A-Wish Foundation should really be called the No Make-Another-Wish Foundation. You said they were rough. No one's first wish is for Disneyland, is it? True that. <clears throat> doctor, doctor, I'm addicted to fucking dogs. Have you tried patches? What's he, a poodle? <laughs> I once met a woman whose pelvic muscles were so strong, she said no man would ever dare to finger her. So I offered to help, and she snatched my hand off. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that kind of Jimmy Carr kind (laughs) of... I pulled a sickie the other day, just one of the perks of working at the hospital. Gross. About half of you are unshockable and half of you are. That's good, but we're going to keep on pushing. I'll see if I can offend the fucking all of you before I go. Man is on I a mission. The worst thing about, I'll see if I can offend the fucking all of you before I finish. I think the worst thing about having sex with your mom would be if you lost your erection, she'd just say, well, where did you last have it? <laughs> it's when paedophiles have kids that they really come into their own. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus. You clap that, you're a dreadful fucking person. (laughs) You're saying it, dude. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Are we all okay? I'm quite a sensitive man. I don't mind being held after sex. It's only when they press charges it gets tricky. I mean, that seems quite mild after the last one, that one. Right? (laughs) Werther's originals are so horrible, you'd gladly suck your granddad's cock just to get the taste out of your mouth. (laughs) <laughs> His laugh oh, is God, good. we're getting worse. Okay. As a family, we couldn't decide whether to have Nana buried or cremated, so in the end, we let her live. <laughs> <laughs> that is my kind of humor. I don't like... <laughs> when it's not gross, but just dark. <laughs> um, his delivery is weird. Because Jimmy Carr has one-liners, but I feel like his, his comedic timing is better. It, it, he's, he's literally just reading them off a piece of paper. Like, the way he delivers them is very weird. I don't know. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like he wrote them. I emo... <clears throat> I don't like emo kids all pale and ill-looking and talking about death all the time, you know. Sorry, chemo kids. See? Somebody's There's a reason I started with a warning. Somebody's having See? a great time, dude. There's a reason I started with a warning. <laughs> if anything, yeah, finding out that like Jimmy's Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, finding out that Jimmy Savile was a paedophile made it even worse that he never answered my letter. <laughs> all of my favourite 70s kids TV stars, they've all been done for it now, haven't they? Jimmy Savile, Rolf Harris, Stuart Hall. I bet Finger Mouse is shitting himself. <laughs> <laughs> did somebody say, when I said my favourite 70s kids TV star, did somebody say you? As if like... <laughs> <laughs> That is fucked up if I'm now in the u tree camp. It's particularly fucked up because I was born in 1973. I was a fucking toddler to have been... <laughs> oh, seriously, I was such an ugly child, I had to give paedophiles sweets. It was hard, you know. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> it cost me a fortune in sherbet dibdabs just to feel some affection. So... Oh. I've gone bleaker than I fucking intended, okay? All right. Oh, we're going to get you? worse. Pedophile goes into a florist. I'd like some flowers, please. Orchids? No, just the flowers. Oh, orchids. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. My granddad went down in history and on one occasion fingered a girl in geography. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh and someone, pay. take me a second. 
<laughs> oh, there's another page. Fuck. <laughs> the great thing about jokes about kids with leukemia is they never get old. <laughs> this is going to get me record numbers of complaints. This is going to be fucking beautiful. <laughs> I love magicians. Who was that guy in America made those landmarks disappear? Oh, Bin Laden. <laughs> I think dolphins invented cancer just so they'd have people to swim with. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so awkward. Oh, lady. I feel like uh, Sarah is his girlfriend or wife or whatever. I don't know how old this is, but um, I feel like she's so much more obviously obviously quite different comedians um but i feel like she's a lot more comfortable i feel like since he knows he's saying i don't like the word offensive offensive comedy like pfft. i prefer the term dark comedy because offensive is just it's it's a it's a stupid thing to get offended about a joke but but, like, I, for me, the, there's some gross topics that I just don't find funny. And dark is it's fine, but it depends. Like, there's 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 several like little subgenres, and um, some things are like gross. They're not gonna make me laugh, but I, it's not that I get offended. It's just not funny to me. But um, anyway, I don't know if it's because he's saying dark things or offensive things or whatever. Like, I feel like he isn't comfortable at all doing this. Like, he's he's into it, and it's his thing, and he's enjoying it. But I feel like he's also a bit, like, nervous or anxious. That's just my <laughs> assessment. Old ladies aren't nosy. The real reason they poke their heads through the curtains all the time is they're practicing for being cremated. <laughs> this is good. I've revolted even you. This is wonderful. I, I, nosy. The real reason they poke what? their heads... <laughs> I I Old it. ladies aren't nosy. The real reason they poke their heads through the curtains all the time is they're practicing for being cremated. I don't get what this that is. Good. To I've do revolted even you. This is wonderful. <laughs> I was in the town center earlier and I saw people collecting for Parkinson's and they were shaking tins, which I thought was a bit insensitive. <laughs> Because people collect money for anything nowadays, call it a charity. Recently, I saw this woman collecting for reconstructive vaginal surgery following the birth of her eight children. There she was outside Tesco's, waving her bucket. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you think your partner's got a rather large vagina, it's important you never let on to that fact. And believe me, I know, as I once put my foot in it. <laughs> I think someone's just left being revolted. You're quite right, too, Adam. You're the only decent person in this room. <laughs> I joined a fisting club, not something particularly into. I'm just trying to widen the circle of my friends. Oh, see, that kind of gross stuff, not for me. These are the most fucking complained about and the ones I said I'd never do on stage again, and I am, seemingly. <laughs> my girlfriend and I were on a touring holiday recently, and we were driving over the Downs, which will teach me to take a shortcut through a special school. <laughs> <laughs> I rang up that new rape advice line, but apparently it's just for victims. Okay. I recently went down on my girlfriend without realizing she was having her period. As you can imagine, I was very red in the face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he makes weird oh, sounds. Jesus. All right. <laughs> I've never seen a complete child porn film, just little snatches. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've got one final thing. Um, who wants to see what my sex face looks like? Everybody, great. Okay, just give me two seconds to get ready over here. Hang on, bear with me. That'd be gross. I can feel it. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> he put it on like terribly too. I can't read that. But um, I I like Jimmy Carr more. I don't know why. 
Because it's, it's like the same genre of jokes, the same kind of comedy. I just feel like Jimmy Carr does it better in a way. Um, I don't know. This guy's weird, man. <laughs> Jimmy Carr is weird, but it's a different kind of weird. Like, I feel like I, I, I can click more with uh, Jimmy Carr's kind of comedy and the way he does things. I guess, I don't know if it's the delivery or what it is, but... um. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, not offended. Just just some things I find funny and some things I don't. And and a lot of dark comedy is is I guess kind of gravitates towards more of the gross stuff, especially with a you know pedophiles, pedophiles, or whatever you wanna however you wanna pronounce that is like a very recurring topic in these kind of one liner comedies comedians and um that like tends to get gross quite quick <laughs> but uh there you go okay um yeah it's weird to he is this is sarah milliken's husband correct Let, i'm just because it's weird to picture them together because they don't seem <laughs> like i don't know it's weird they seem quite different. Sarah Milliken husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. This is this is the thing. I don't know. I'd like obviously stage personas and, and comedians and all that have their own little, you know, like uh Ramesh does the grumpy stuff and and you, Jimmy Carr does the <laughs> pedophile thing. <laughs> Like, there's some people that have that weird kind of... But it's... I don't know. It's just... They seem quite different. Because she, she's like... If if you have to think of an image, at least from the things I've seen, of Sarah Milliken, especially with, like, her voice and the way she looks, like, you, you... An image, in my mind, of her is just, like, it's very pink and purpley, and there's flowers and cupcakes and rainbows. <laughs> And then you got this. <laughs> and the image, it's pretty much like, oh, I can't point to it. But the, the little thumbnail thing that's like a, a gray brick wall, it's like that. It's This guy visually comes to mind, a, a gray brick wall, darkness, and, and, and just trash. <laughs> Very different. Knives and chains. <laughs> But whatever, you know what? Who says opposites don't attract or who says you have to have things in common to be with someone? So that's just fine. As long as they're happy. Why not, people? Anyway, um, did I like the guy? Eh. <laughs> I'm not, eh, just... <coughs> like, I wouldn't... It's not one of those people like, no, no, oh my god, this isn't for me. I'm never watching anything again. This sucked. It was terrible. It's just, eh, he'll, he, like, I can laugh at some and some are just gross. <laughs> or not funny to me, but um, I wouldn't mind watching something else. I don't know. But um, there you go. There you have it. My first Gary Delaney. Did he say his name? I don't know if he did. I'm, I'm going with Delaney. Gary Delaney experience. There you go. Ruthless. Yes. One-liners. Usually they're two liners, but yes. And um, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> That's like the most important part of these. Um, I'm good, so yeah. There you go. Anyway, guys, whatever you have to do, have a beautiful one, a fantastic one, a great one, and I will be around. So thank you for watching, and toodles.